name then was the Traveling Arabs of Tyler, Texas. And a, and a young man heard us at a, one of those country churches in a city called Crockett. And this man was sitting up in there, we didn't know he was in there. So we sang. And when we finished singing, we came out to the back. So this man was named Reverend E.J. Broomfield. And he said, he, you know, he started talking to us and asked us, was we interested in going to a major label? We didn't even think we were that good. He said, I believe y'all that good. And he came to Tyler and we rehearsed. And he taken us to Nashville, Tennessee. And got us recording. And how old were you? You were oh, 20? We, oh, yeah, early 20. Well, did you record as the the travel heirs? No, 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 we recorded with him. He was the last uh, the chosen gospel singer. Yeah, which was an old pioneer group. Right, okay, so we recorded with this man, Reverend E.J. Broom here. Right. Uh, the new chosen gospel singer. Okay. We did 145, but the man on the covenant, Mr. Ernie Young, he was a Jew. He said the name was too old for us. So when we went back to record, we recorded, and he, when we finished that day, he told me, he said, I want to give y'all a new name. So y'all need a new name. He said, I, so we asked him about a old name. He said, no, that's not a name for you. He's, and, and I think you need a new name. He, the company, named us the Gospel Keynotes. We were named by this man named Ernie Young. Young. He was the owner of Nashville. So what part did Shannon play, just record producer? Okay. Shannon wasn't even in the, he was, when, I, when we met Shannon, <laughs> Shannon, the record shop was in the bottom. Ernie's records? Yes. Shannon would have worked Didn't in Ernie have several stores? Yeah. Ernie's record mark? Yes. That's who, <laughs> that's, that's who it was. But the, here's a record studio was on top of his store. Get out of here. And Shadow was working down there in the store. store. Yeah. Not doing no producing, just no, working in a store. No. And when Nashville bought the franchise, that's when Shadow showed up. Your first, was it a 45 you did for Nashville as, as the gospel keynotes? Yeah. What was the name of that 45? Show Me The Way and then Glory Land. The same Show Me The Way that I sang today that never died. Do you have a copy of that? I don't have a copy of that now. I wish that did. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I'm right. Show me the way it is. And I'll tell you what it's on. This must have been 60-something, the 60s. Yeah. Nashboro sent out all these albums and they were called, uh, my mind's gonna go now, white cover, red letters, single releases. And it had like seven or eight or nine different artists, but only like one or two songs from upcoming albums. Mm -hmm. And they would put, issue those out. But I'm almost sure if I look hard enough, I think I have Show Me The Way. I don't have the 45, but I think they put it out in this, this app where he stuck all these things together. I think I might have it. I'm going to look for it. Show Me The Way. Okay. That would be your first song, that's, that's your first record, record. 45. Right. How did it do? It did good. That's all you could hear then. Um, we, uh, they give us a little sound. And then, uh, you know, WLAC then was on strong yeah. at night. And we started getting the airplane. Now, is that, that station's where? In, in Tennessee? Is it Nashville? Nashville. That's like 50,000 watt station, yes. I think. Yes. Is that where Hoss Allen is, Big Hoss? That's where he's at. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's where your first record got played. Got so you got a lot. You got heard in a lot of states because that yeah. station went through a lot of states. That's a lot true. Of states. It got a lot of play, and then we started to get a lot of play. Then, uh, then when Shannon came along, then he started to, you know, putting us everywhere. Right. And we had a sound that he liked. Who was in the original when you went in that studio the first time? That man changed your name to Gospel Keynote. Who was in that group? I'm the only one that's left. Who was in the original group? Okay, a young, a young man by the name of Charles Bailey. 
ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਮਗੀ ਰਹਾਵ ਮਗੀ ਐਂਡ ਮਸੇਵ ਐਂਡ ਨਾ ਪਾਉ ਬੀਜਲੀ ਹੀ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਐਵਰੀ ਯਾ ਪਾਉ ਬੀਜਲੀ ਕੇਮ ਅਲੋਂ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਜਨ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਂਜੋ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਓਰੀਜਨ now we're talking what year now we're the, talking about we're talking about the first album in 65 okay 65 we recorded it 64 but the first album came along in 19 and 65 so you came along towards the end of, of what we old timers call the golden era the, the days of the swans the days of the mm-hmm. uh the blind boys both sets the days of the pilgrim to believe the soul stirs with sam cole you came along with the clouds of joy you came along in the 60s along the same time the clouds just about i think got right in mind yeah. right in mind about the clouds of joy right. we came along right uh of those people you just named from the original group uh did any of them go on to be with other groups no uh uh no neither one of them with the exception of Paul of course right you know he went on and made right. fame with the cloud and he did with most of the other fellows right. most of them are back home and they're not doing anything was it success to Ferris Willie to go inside that studio get a new name gospel keynotes get a record played on a 50,000 watt station all of a sudden engagement starts coming in and you all were working did it happen too fast those men just couldn't handle it I, 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 I can't think so and a lot of them didn't Back then, I don't think their mind was really as strong as mine. Yeah. See, my always determined, one determined. Yeah. My determination was yeah. to travel all over the world. Yeah. Some people just want to sing for fun. It's yeah. fun to do it. Let's just sing when we want to. But right. then, when you get that record, now phone call starts coming in. You know, I want you to come here. I want you to come there. Life on the road is not easy. Oh, by no means. You can hear our sound. I'm always, but that's the way. And that's you the just life. finished four programs. Right. And that's that's the life on the road. And it is not easy uh for for many reasons. It can be very lonely. Uh it can be frustrating. You can have financial problems and you just don't know. You just don't know. But this first set of Gospel Keynotes 1965 show me the way. And then you did a whole album, right? Yeah. What was, what was the first album? One more time. One more time. One Tyler with one more time. And I I sang I think I had two songs on it. and I wouldn't really be saying uh all other fellows and when it came out uh go back to show me the way now show me the way was the last song that we sang when we did our first and the chain name change change your name right well then when it, when they released it they released me what show me the way and when the first album came out I sang one more time and I think I sang another song about give me my flower I like you live. And when the album came out, it came out on me with the top song. In other words, it had an album after your song. It had an album after my song. Did those and men didn't like it too much? Yeah, no, they didn't understand it. Well, that. first of all, whoever gave him their first name had to face the insult of having a white record store owner tell him I'm changing your name. Yeah. And that can be a little insulting, you know, I'm changing your name. I don't like that name. You're going to be the yeah. gospel keynote. So yeah. if you're not mature minded then that can have a little effect on you you know who are you to change my name i've been out here singing for four years and you know i thought this name up my name good enough people know us and that first thing is hey folks know us by this name we've been singing with the, under this name now you're going to change our name and then all of a sudden here they're going to put your song as the top song in the album that's enough to make them all leave probably yeah, well, yeah but they didn't they uh, you know but uh why they did it i don't know but they did and you know record come and then you know they got they do what they want to do they do it today sure they, they do. ain't changed they ain't changed they do what they want to do uh what you might think is the song that you like to the name of the album to be they will pick what they want they do it every time and there's nothing you can do about it no, really there's nothing but you know. then they learned that we learned that through the year but when the first half we didn't understand it right. but now everybody understand it you know do you think back in back in the 60s when you first got to Nashville that you had a little more leave way as far as what you want to pick to sing your your repertoire of songs versus them telling you here here's a song i want you to sing we been pretty good we did one album that we didn't have no control over and it was it was wrong for us. uh we had one album called uh, uh can't think of the name of the album that's true yeah, that one is but what's the name of it 
in the 70s. I believe it was. Was it they tried to make you sound real contemporary? You know, you know what happened. 